Given that I've uh, entitled these little videos that I do your uh, daily cup of joe, I feel compelled to talk about any study that comes up about coffee. And indeed, there is a compelling study that has come out. And uh, this is the uh, so-called biobank study that comes from the UK. And uh, it's really an interesting one. Researchers surveyed close to half a million people about their coffee drinking habits. Now, as with any dietary survey, there are always some issues because of inaccurate reporting. But I think in the case of coffee, this is less likely to be a concern because people tend to know how many cups of coffee they drink a day. So they were asked about the kind of coffee they drank, whether it was ground coffee, instant coffee, or, or decaf. And these people were followed for 12 and a half years. Now, some, of course, died during this period. Uh, indeed, 6.2% of the total surveyed population died during the 12 and a half years. But here is where things get interesting. Subjects were less likely to die if they drank coffee. Those who drank two to three cups a day were about 20% less likely to die if they drank ground coffee. They were also less likely to die if they drank instant coffee or decaf uh, coffee. And there the percentages were, uh, you know, between 10 and 15%. So it's still pretty interesting. Uh, as far as cardiovascular disease goes, and of course a number of them were diagnosed during this 12 and a half year period with cardiovascular disease, which encompasses uh, uh, coronary heart disease, congestive heart failure, and stroke. And here too, there was a reduction, 20% for those who drank ground coffee, somewhat less for the instant uh, and the, the decaf. As far as cardiac arrhythmias go, uh, those were also reduced, but in this case, only by the ground coffee and the instant coffee, not by the decaf. Exactly what component of coffee is responsible is, is really not known, because coffee is very, very complex. I mean, obviously, besides caffeine, it contains hundreds of other compounds, including many antioxidants. So, so you know, these are caffeic acid, ferulic acid, and a variety of meloidins, which are formed uh, during the roasting process. And indeed, it turns out that coffee is probably the number one source of antioxidants in the North American uh, uh, diet. What about the downsides? Yes, some people get agitated, uh, get nervous from the, the caffeine and uh, become restless and, and uh, can cause insomnia. Uh, but uh, generally, if it is not consumed uh, in the evening, then this is not much of a concern. Uh, as far as blood pressure goes, there may be a momentary increase after drinking uh, caffeine, but studies show that there's no long-term effect on blood pressure of uh, moderate uh, coffee consumption. So uh, what do we make of uh, all of this? Uh, the researchers come to the conclusion that drinking two to three cups of coffee a day should not be discouraged, and in fact it can be part of a healthy diet. So that's our story today uh, for that uh, daily cup of joe, or you know what, make it uh, two or three cups of cup of joe.